Welcome back, folks. It's Paul Maglev here, and today it's time we took a look at the Modern Era 2. The same challenges as the Modern Era, except several times more difficult. I'm trying to. I want to just hop right into this because I really haven't thought of anything to really say or do. So, if my memory is correct, I just have to flip these. Nope, I was mistaken. And I'm gonna turn the volume down because it's a little loud. But, how's it going, everybody? Not much has changed since the previous recording session, to be quite honest. And that didn't end so well. But I want to just get back into the swing of things. Oh, I didn't need to do that. But what I do intend to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I got a stitch for some reason. It's probably because I can't contain myself. But this... Oh. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Wait for it. And there we have it! This is how we do it with three stars. Ah yes, the proverbial puzzle of timing. There isn't quite anything like it, as far as I can tell. Wait, why did I say that? That makes no sense. Because I've been experiencing this for quite a lot, and... Oh. I don't remember the right timing for this, do I? Sadly, I do not. But we shall see. Activate this, and this. Activate this. And this! Uh, boy. We'll get it eventually. I think now is a good time. Perfect timing. And then we'll be able to flip this back. And flip this over. There we go. That should do it. And we won't have to worry about any car traffic at the moment because it's all jammed over here. So we won't need to bring any gates down, and we should be able to get away with just two stars. Now, here's one of those wibbly wobbly sort of levels. I'm trying to. How did I do this last time? Because I need to get the trains in the right order at the right times. This train needs to loop around, go up and over and back. But this train also needs to go up and over and back and forward and... Oh, wait, how does it get there? Ah, yes. Yes. Uh, let's try the path of least resistance and see what happens. Well, that's not surprising. So I think we'll go with this configuration. Flip this switch, then run this train over. Then just keep looping it around, and maybe that should do it. Yes, I think this should do it. Now I'm just trying to remember how... Oh, right! right. Then I just flip the tracks over like this, and then everything goes according to plan. That's better. However, it does take a while, because they're... 
they're gonna have to go a long distance just to go uh, to their destinations. This level looks very similar to a level from Train's Trouble, if my memory's correct. And if it is to be believed... I need to make extra doubly sure... ...that I have everything lined up the way it's supposed to be. And I think I've already made the first mistake. Destroying every single train in the process and we should be able to try it again. So we'll flip this and this. We'll be able to run it over to here. Activate this light. We'll be able to flip this switch. Uh, yeah, that should do it. And then the train that's red is going to make it to its station. We'll be able to flip this switch. And... uh-oh. Something tells me this isn't quite right. We'll figure it out eventually. Yes, because I think both of these are supposed to collide. And if they don't, then I'll just loop this up and over. And then I can flip this switch, and then it should... The blue train should go through here, up through a tunnel, and then back over here, and then everything will be said and done. I think I've been trying to procrastinate for some reason. I've been preoccupied with trying to work with the model trains that I have, trying to get them to work properly. I wanted to get this little truck for all the uh, Taigo Turbo trains that I've got so that they're compatible with Nickel Silver Track, which I'm probably sure I've said before. But now I'm realizing it's going to be a much more difficult task than I suspected because finding motorized uh, trucks or bogies is... Uh, it's not a simple task, because it seems the majority of them are in a price range that I am not willing to get them for. And I think that's where the conundrum lies, in the budget. And I know it really shouldn't have to be that way. This level also was in uh, Train's Trouble, I think, as well. Obviously the colors were a bit different, but you get the idea. Oops. One thing I'll have to remember though is that I need to get this orange train in first, unless it's red. It's like a blood red orange, it's kind of gross. Flip this right over. And here's hoping that things work out, because something tells me something's going to go horribly wrong. Yep, something's gonna go wrong. Dang it. It's, I, I swear, when I played this back in Train's Trouble, it gave me such a hard time. Because it was so... so... what's the word I'm looking for? It was so crazy. Because I couldn't conceptualize how I was supposed to set everything up. And for some reason, the map clips off over here. I'm not sure why. But moving on, we'll see if we can figure this out eventually. But back on the road again. I think I've got a winning strategy. Yes, 
I think we I think we got this. It's probably an improvement, but it's not gonna be the end of the world if it doesn't work. Yes, I think this is gonna do it. If the timing is right. Something tells me it's not. Yeah, it's not. Doesn't really matter though. We passed the level. There, there's no way to get the stars on this. I have no idea how nobody in their right minds could possibly do that. Because the level of genius you would need is clearly not something that is readily available at all times. You just can't find that kind of intelligence in your day-to-day -day -day life from anybody, as far as I can tell. This level's kind of silly, and you will see uh, why in just a moment. Because now we have ghost trains coming up that we're going to have to confront. Just activate this switch, that should buy me some time. Oh dear. I forgot that the train stops at the station. Try again! Excuse me. Two... Three... That should do it. We're gonna have to wait a moment. Activate this. Something tells me this isn't working out as I had planned. Yes, this isn't working out like I planned. Now I'm trying to figure out how I did this previously. Because there's no way I could just blindly go into this level knowing what to do and solve it in a reasonable amounts of time. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I flipped this. Wait, I think I know what to do. All I have to do is just get the right trains to their right destinations, and then we won't have to worry. Yes, if my memory is correct, this is the way that we need to do this. Stop you right there. Try to stop you one more time just to... oh. I sent the train to the wrong station. But you get the general idea of how I plan to do this. Get these switches flipped and we should be uh, ready to go. Yes, this is the way it ought to be. And as my strategy unfolds, I need to anticipate some other unwanted consequences to my actions. Flip this switch. Activate this light again. 
One more time should do it. And I think the stations will buy us some time because the ghost trains hesitate at them. Not entirely sure why that is. But now we have two stars, we've got all the trains to their uh, final destinations, and we didn't have to worry about any collisions. Here's another level that might seem familiar to you. It's got a derivative from... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? This level would be uh, converted and modified a little bit when it was released in Trains Trouble. But the general concept is still relevant. Oh, I think I forgot something. Yep. Try it again. Flip, flip, flip. No, not that flip. There we go. I'm gonna have to bring this gate down just to be safe. But that's how you do it. So this is another level that, uh, I think this was in the Australian campaign of Trains Trouble. The difficulty of this level doesn't necessarily come from what you'd expect. And I think I forgot something. I think I've got a train going the wrong direction. Yep, I was correct. And a time that I didn't want to be correct in any fashion whatsoever. Okay, that's better. This is how it was supposed to work. This is, yes, this was definitely how it was supposed to work. And we still have all three stars, so we're par for the course in, number, in the number of clicks we had to do to finish the level. I, knew, I wasn't initially sure what I was supposed to do with this level, because it was just so crazy. And by crazy, you'll see what I mean briefly. Because it took me forever to figure this one out, and I still haven't figured it out yet. It was a miracle the first time I got it uh, correctly. We'll need to flip this switch. Okay, that should do it. Oh! I didn't mean for the train to stop there, but okay. We'll have to try this again. Obviously, though, there weren't... There was no chance I was able to get away with all three stars for this level. It's just too complicated. Ooh, what's this? There we go. 
We've got trains at our first destinations. We're gonna need to flip this. Oops. I knew there was something I forgot. Actually, no, let's keep it going this way. No, no, I keep flipping all those switches in the wrong directions. Alright, that should do it. Unless this train passes through here... We'll be able to do this. They'll be able to send you over this way. Send you over this way. Oh, I suspect- oh shoot. I suspected something was wrong. I didn't get all the red passengers. That is such nonsense. But we'll try it again. Switches and that should do it. However, I think I flipped one too many times. It doesn't really matter though. Moving on. Another Australian campaign level from Trains Trouble originated as this level in the Train Crisis. However, this is hypothetically easier because we're using slower locomotives because we were using the Intercity Express style locomotives from Bolero or whatever. Actually, no, I take that back. It's from Simmons, but it's called. No, I can't. You know what? Just forget, forget that. Don't quote me on that. Besides, I have bigger fish to fry than being precise about what models on the computer uh, game we're based on train prototypes. It's not my highest priority. Or at least it shouldn't be. Stop you right here. We are clear for takeoff. Stop this train right here. Stop it again. I'm not sure if this train's gonna collide with this one, but I think we're going to risk it. Okay, that works. And we got all three stars. I don't think I was able to do that before. We're almost halfway through! Actually, we're quite literally halfway through. Uh, so, this train needs to go up and over and over and back. This train needs to go up and over like this and back again. Actually, no. Is it possible for this train to go another way? Yes, I think it is, but no one cares. This train needs to loop around here. Let's get this Mario Party started. That was a terrible idea. Try it again. This down, flip this over. Flip this. 
flip this. This will do. There we go. That actually didn't require as many steps as I thought it would. But all the trains just need to be facing the right direction at their stations to get that level passed. And this is a weird level. Weird on several orders of magnitude. The likes of which I don't think I recall how I figured it out. Because it was so awkward. I really should have turned off Amazon. Cautious. In a perfect world, we'd have to bring the gates down every single time, but because this is a game, they try to make us cut corners. I think that's what we're supposed to do to loop it around a sub. Oh, I knew something was wrong. Let's try this way. That was also a terrible mistake. We're gonna find the right permutation, eventually. Because there is a right combination of switches that I need to flip at the right time. Come to think of it, it might actually be just about now. Yes, I think this was the way we are supposed to do it. Well, almost. Keyword being almost. We'll try it again. So we'll just get two laps in and then we'll flip it over. It's the first one, right? There we go. No, why did I do that again? Didn't mean to do that, that blocks the green train. Let's see, make it up and over again. Bring the switch down, I mean the gates down. Flip the switches. Flip this switch, and this switch. And then if my memory is correct, this is how we were supposed to do it. That's better. So now all the trains are at their destinations as we intended. And here's a level that actually looks scarier than it really is. Let me show you. Why does that not surprise? Oh, I didn't mean to go to the next level, dang it. Let's get back to level 14. Did you see me click there? I certainly hope it shows up after everything's been rendered. I 
and my stupidity strikes again. Flip this switch so it just keeps looping around. There we go. And then the uh, ghost train will just keep looping around this circuit while we stay preoccupied with getting the green train to its station. Which will not be a very difficult task, because now everything is properly lined up. Yeah, that should do it. One more switch that we need to flip, and that, that should do it. Everyone's at their destination. And this level is the... It takes crazy to a whole new echelon. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Because I need to make sure that these ghost trains don't collide with each other. I also need to make sure that the trains that I'm supposed to get to their stations don't get blown to little bits as well. Which makes this exponentially more difficult. So we just flip this switch. Oh. Why did I think that was facing the right direction? Okay, that should do it. Flip this and this. Activate you here. And activate you here. And every button just kind of squeezes by. They just squeeze right by. And... I think I'm gonna flip this switch. Here's hoping everything works out. Oh, I was so close. Oh boy. Just need to get the timing right. Then everything's gonna be just okay. Wow! That actually wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. It worked out! Here's a level where speed is key. We need lightning fast reflexes in order to get the trains where they need to go. If I can even remember where they're supposed to go. And if I can remember to bring the right gates down at the right time as well. But still, the rules maintains that speed is key. Run this over this way, then this way, and up and over. Well, at least I got the concept right for the most part. Keep flipping all the wrong switches to boot. There we go. Flip this switch, bring this gate down. Flip this switch. Ah, dang it. So close. Speed is key! 
Speed is key. Loop this around. This around. This around. Okay. So everything's back together the way it's supposed to be. Okay, that's better. We did it! With excellent time to spare. This is another level that probably threw me for a loop. If my memory is correct. Stop you right here. Actually, no, I probably shouldn't. This is going to waste more turns. I think I've come up with a better idea of how to approach this. So just leave this train to its own devices while we send this train up and over. train through the signals, but we'll stop this Intercity Express. Flip, flip. Okay, that, that almost worked. Keeper being almost. Uh, I'll just keep the green train still instead next time. Get this train to loop around again. Stop the Inner City Express. And we're just gonna keep this train here as long as humanly possible until we get the diesel uh, train up here to its station because we, I don't think we have much of a choice. I'm just wondering when it's going to be the right time to actually send this train off. And something tells me this might actually be it. Yes, there's ample time for this train to get to this station before this train tries to plow into it. All I have to do is just flip this switch and then everything should be done. There we go. I haven't been keeping track of the levels we're on. Ah, yes, another train's trouble level. Or a train crisis level that got adapted into the train's trouble. And this one's going to be the next level of crazy. But it's not something I'm unfamiliar with. I just wish it was second nature at this point. Need to pay more attention to uh, traffic over here. Ah, shucks. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, I flipped it prematurely. Joke redacted for the children. Dead Cat Reflexes McGee is probably going to be one of those names that are going to get thrown out there. Because that's what I am. Flip these. Flip this. 
this and this. This and this. Oh. It worked. Rail management is at its finest. This level isn't as scary as some of the, uh... Oh. I just made my first mistake. I spoke too soon. But the principle by which this level works is pretty, uh, simple. I think I just said simple twice, I didn't mean to. But all we have to do is just keep looping the trains around the track. And that's what happens when we try to rush. There is no need to rush. Oh, and I sent it off prematurely. And I destroyed all the trains. Fantastic. So let's see, we've got this. Two passengers, three passengers. Now we'll get the blue train serviced. Actually, no, that wouldn't be the right word to say, would it? But we'll get this train taken care of. And then we'll get the green train taken care of. And then we should be able to send this train off. And now we have them all in the correct order. Pretty simple in concept. This is one of those levels that always tries my patience. I'll remember the combination eventually. And I'll remember to be courteous and actually try to bring the gates down. Then we flip this over. Then we flip this over. And this over. Then we go over like this. Oh okay. dear. I'll get this right eventually, I just know it's... It took me forever to find the combination for this. But this will definitely suffice. did I do that? It might have actually barely made it. Keyword being barely. Insert bear pun here. Bring the gates down. Let's see, we'll pull this, flip this, bring this over, and I think if we keep everything in the current configuration, everything should be just fine. Okay, that's better. I think that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. But that's no big deal. Oh boy, this level. Uh, 
this requires a level of trial and error that- oh. Didn't mean to do that. It requires a level of trial and error that took me forever and a half to figure out. But there is a right way to do this. Make no mistake. And that wasn't one of them. sure if my strategy is even mechanically possible. Let's see, go this around, this around, pull this down, pull this, 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 this. This is what I wanted to do. And I still got zero stars, because apparently this game hates me. I guess that doesn't really matter. Got other fish to fry. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Because this is one of those trial and error levels. Well, that's one way not to do it. So what else do I need to do? Flip this, flip this... Flip this, so I avoid that accident again. Pull this. Pull this. I guess I can do this, but I don't want to. Get the green chain to its station because it needs to get in first. Flip this switch. Get it to loop around. I think I've made a mistake. Actually, no, I haven't. There's still hope yet. There we go! And that is how we do this level. Cause this is how we do it! I need to stop that. I'm not funny. I need to stop doing shenanigans like that. Moving on! Here's another level in Train Crisis that was adapted to Train's Trouble. And I'm not gonna lie when I say this one gives me a hard time because I have to do it at full speed. But if my memory is correct, I need to do this. This. Then this. And this. And this. Making sure that doesn't happen. We'll try that one more time. Well, we're gonna try it several more times, let's face it. Because this is Train Crisis, it's not Train Paradise. Then we get the train to pass right by. And that didn't go as I expected. Luckily, we have an infinite number of tries. Get these tricks taken care of. I should have known I forgot that. But let's see, we'll try it another 10 billion times before we get this straight in our heads. Pull these switches. 
Pull these switches. Pull this. Activate this. Go up and over. And this is the way it was supposed to be done. Oh no you don't, Mr. Car. You can go home, you're drunk. Trying to destroy my trains with your terrible game logic. The last level! Another trial and error level that requires lightning fast reflexes in order to figure out the best way to actually solve it. So let's get this party started. Oh. I think I pulled the wrong switch. Let's see, we'll pull these switches. These switches. Oh. There. And... Something else has gone wrong. And now I've got myself another quadra kill. Let's see, that should do it. I forgot another switch, didn't I? But we're almost there. Two steps forward. Eleven steps back. Flip this around, flip this around, flip this around. Oh. Uh, I should have known I forgot that. Keeping track of so many things at such a rapid pace. It could be mind-boggling sometimes. Really difficult to wrap your head around. Oh. And did I mention that was supposed to happen at the last second? That I should have known that was gonna come? That, among other things that I should always see coming in hindsight. So we'll get this down, taken care of. Pull this down. Still got a collision even though we pulled the gates down. But we are this close, I swear we are this close to getting this thing figured out. This close! Zip it around. Pull the gate down. Okay, that's better. Now we might actually stand a chance. I'm not gonna risk it. Three stars, final level, everything is done. We did it. We beat Train Crisis. We did it! We did it! Totally did it. So we beat the modern era to... I really wish there was a future era to... But apparently they didn't make that, so... That's all there is to Train Crisis, to be quite honest. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you appreciated it. Uh, I will see you in the next series, in the next video. And until then, uh, take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself. And remember to never give up. I will see you at some future point in time. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.